Hey garden people, it's summertime and our apricot tree is bursting with fruit. So we're going to pick as many as we can and make some homemade jam. You ready? Here's how to pick and preserve your own stone fruit. We filmed this in mid-July when our apricots were firm yet ripe, the perfect time for picking. Our tree is quite tall, so we're using a fruit tree picker. This one has a pruning element, which makes harvesting easy and quick but climbing a ladder with a buddy to keep you steady also works. Lower fruit can be picked by hand. You know it's ripe if the fruit easily releases from the tree with a gentle twist. We prepared two buckets during our harvest, a bucket of goodies and a bucket of squishies, which will end up in our compost. Now, with our freshly picked fruit, we can hop into the kitchen to make our rustic apricot jam. This recipe by Serious Eats relies entirely on the apricot's natural pectin, along with fresh lemon juice and sugar to help the jam set. We'll fill our largest pot with water and get that boiling. Meanwhile, we'll prepare the jam by adding six pounds of our halved and pitted apricots to another large pot, and measure out two pounds and 10 ounces of granulated sugar. We'll get this heated and mixed together. And we can't forget the three ounces of fresh lemon juice. This balances the tartness with the sweet of the sugary apricots. Then we mix until our chunky apricots turn into a gooey pot of yum. Make sure to scrape any foam that forms on the jam surface so we get a clear jewel-like jam color at the end. With the water at a full boil, it's time to sanitize our mason jars, lids, and screws. We let these boil for about 10 minutes before the fun part. Now we fill the hot jam into our hot jars. This is much easier with a partner, so try to find a jamming friend. Some best practices we've learned are leaving some headspace in the jar to ensure a good vacuum seal and wiping the rim of the jar with a clean, damp towel before putting on your canning lid and screw top. Next, we'll lower the full jars into the canning pot as carefully as we can. One last piece of advice, invest in jar lifting tongs. It'll save your poor hands and feet from being burned. The best part about canning is waiting for the sound of the perfect seal. After the jars have cooled, you can give your homemade jam the proper taste test. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you love apricots as much as Rita.